Hi all, welcome back to lesson 2.3, Set Theory Refresher. In this lesson, we'll go through some fundamental concepts about set theory. I'm sure all of you must have studied this in your school, but I thought I'll quickly refresh you guys with some of the set theory concepts so you're able to follow along with further lessons and chapters uh, in this course. Basically, set is a collection of distinct objects. The important bit to note here is the distinct objects. So if you really look at a set, it is collection of distinct objects. And the objects can be names, numbers, or people, or it can be anything. You're not so much worried about the actual object type itself, but you're, you, you just wanted to understand that it's a distinct object. Sets are generally denoted by the flower brackets. And we've already seen, even when we write our set expressions, we do have flower brackets. And let's go through some basic set operators so that you're more comfortable with the set operators. And uh, the first one is the intersection. You can think about intersection as like and as well. Let me just quickly draw something and show you. So let me go to paint. Set is actually represented by flower brackets. So if you have values two, three, and five in here, that's, and we can call this as set A, right? And then we have set B, and we have values which are three, four, six, right? So now if you're talking about intersection, right? If we, if we take the um, intersection of A and B, so we write the inter intersection as A intersection. So that's a symbol for intersection. And then uh, B equals to, then if you really see this, let me change the color. And if you see the common values are three, that's it, right? So we don't see any other values which are uh, common in A and B. So that's A intersection B. So if we wanted to show the same thing in Venn diagram, um, let me just write this down as well. So this is A, this is B, and we are talking about A intersection B. If you really see the common values between A and B are three. So if you really write down the number here, so three would come here and we have two and five in here, and then we have four and six in here. I hope that makes sense, right? It's fairly straightforward. And then if we go back, right? Then we look at uh, union. Union is also treated as a logical operator as or. So it is basically everything, that's your full set. So going back to our example, so A union B, so let me write down now, A union B equals to set of two, three, four, five, and six. So because three is the common value, as I said, it's all distinct values. So we are going to write three only once. We are not going to repeat the number three one more time. So it's basically, we have five values in there. So all the values, that is A union B. Okay, going backwards. And then we have A exclusion or the minus sign. So what it means is if I um, go back to the here and then just write down here A exclude B. So we take all the values in A and then also see if there are any values which are common between A and B, we take out those values in. So in our case, the values will be two and then five. We will not use three because three is common between A and B, which is why A exclusion B. And then um, finally, the symmetric difference. What it means is basically um, it's written as like this, A triangle B. So triangle symbol denotes that it is symmetric difference. So, and then we write it um, in here, we write all the values which are either in A or in B, but not common. So we, we were interested in writing two, five, four, and six. So that is a symmetric difference. So it gives you the values which are 
which are not common it's if you really think about it it's opposite to the intersection so in intersection you get three but symmetric difference you get two five four six right so it's fairly straightforward i'm sure you guys know all of this stuff but i thought i'll uh, quickly talk you through this stuff in next lesson we'll continue more on set identifiers thank you for watching